All right, so now we're going to wrap up the last video in this little mini series. Uh, and this will be today, we'll be doing the Z axis ball nut mount. Uh, just as we've done before, we want to start off with File, New Design. Uh, click Save and let's name this. This is Z axis. ball nut mount and then we want to open up our data panel here and we want to find our RM2005 double ball nut right click on it and insert it into the current design now for the z-axis, I want to rotate this because we're going to be working in the vertical. So let's just rotate, grab that, rotate it 90 degrees, and click OK. That should be good. There we go. All right, so we're looking at the top now. All right, I'm a little confused. Okay, there we go. All right, we're looking at the top. There we go. All right. I want to right click over here and break this link so that I'll be able to turn all of these models off. So we just want the sketch for the ball nut. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is uh, we want to go to create sketch select this bottom plane here uh, let's go to sketch rectangle center rectangle and let's start off with uh, 60 let's see 50.8 by 60 there we go And then let's go right here, rectangle, two-point rectangle, and this needs to be 10 by 40. So hit 40 tab and then 10 millimeters. And then over here, this will be 10 tab 40. All right. And then we can hit L and draw a line from point this point to this point. That'll be good. Now I want to hit T and trim. And I want to trim this line, this line, this line, and this line. All right. Hit C for circle. And we need a circle that is 36 millimeters from the center and then we'll, we will be using all of these holes uh, six millimeters so just click in the center type in 6 then hit the mouse all right that should be it hit stop sketch we want to modify press pull we want to grab this area right here let me turn this sketch off see where we're at there we go We'll click all these holes. Now you can drill all these holes all the way through if you'd like. Um, and then this needs to go up 50.8, which is two inches. All right, there we go. 
Now we're going to look at it from the bottom here and I want to turn this sketch back on and then I want to modify press pull and now I want to select all these holes you can do it that way now you can see the sketch is 10 millimeters below the surface of that so if I go up just 10 I'm just barely going to be in to there so we need to go up at least uh, 25 click OK let me turn on my body here see where that's at you can see it's not quite in the right position so let's uh, move this so right here where it says double ball nut I'm going to right click move and I want to just move this whole thing down that's five let's type in four how about four point five okay how about three point five okay it looks like that's not quite there three point four there we go click OK now we have that in the right location we're good to go All right, we have our holes. And like I said, you can these holes can be all the way through. Let's see how deep they are now. That should be good. So let's thread those holes. So we go to create threads and then hold down control and select all of the internal surfaces of the hole there uh, again M6 I think this is 0.75 I'm, I'm not sure all right that's the z-axis ball nut mount you can kind of see now one other hole which is right here and I don't know exactly what size hole that is I'm guessing it's at least an M8, maybe an M10. And we're going to put it right in the center. Uh, let's go with 10, and then we'll have to drill this hole after we disassemble it. Uh, we'll have to drill this hole and figure out what size it is. What I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to drill it in M8 and then I'll wait to tap it later and if I have to re-drill it I can drill it on my drill press we'll go 20 millimeters deep uh, this is going to mount actually to the Z and so this will be what holds it in position I'm pretty sure it's a big bolt, but I don't know exactly what size it is. Uh, we can thread this. Just for our modeling. Alright, so you can kind of see how it's going to mount. Okay, now your ball nut can be turned this way, or you can put it in from the top. Uh, like so it doesn't really matter really just depends on how you would like it I'm thinking probably this way might be the best that way the kind of the flange kind of keeps everything down so that wraps up the z-axis ball nut mount if you have any suggestions or questions please feel free to comment please subscribe to the YouTube channel thumbs up if you like the video Thanks for watching, and most importantly, be safe.